So Gloria says, there is a thin line here when I'm falling for someone, I go soft. They love it when I'm constantly pushing away, this gets old. Where is the happy medium? Yeah, so, you know, they love it when you're pushing away, this gets old. You know, th there's certain things that that are kind of things that you need to do, right? Like it's, it's one of those things, one of the analogies that I give is like, it, it's like if you, if you go and eat, let's say you, you, <laughs> this is a horrible example, but let's say you love McDonald's for whatever reason, you love McDonald's and you go there every single day, right? Over time, it's going to be like, uh, you know, I don't really care anymore. Could be a week, could be a month, you know, but if you go away from it, but it's something that you love and you come back to it and you eat it, all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh my God, it's so good. And so you have to have periods where you're pulling back and you're you're creating space because it, it, it helps people see how valuable you are to their life. And maybe McDonald's wasn't a good, <laughs> let's, let's use ice cream or cherry pie or something. You love cherry pie and you, you won't love it if you spend all your time eating it. But if you only get it on, on holidays or something like that, all of a sudden it becomes this amazing treat that you get to have. And maybe it's not as extreme, especially with relationships as on holidays, but you want to have some space. You want to create some space and you want to pull back some and you know, it can get old. You know, I guess, I guess it depends on what it is that you're doing. If you're, if you're doing some kind of movement where you're pushing somebody away, you know, that can get old and, and it might be better to be in a situation with somebody where you're not doing that. But we, we all kind of experience that, like even with men, with women, like there's a lot of guys out there that say that one of their biggest frustrations is that women love bad boys, right? And it's like, oh God, you know, every time I make fun of these girls or every time I'm sarcastic or every time I tease these girls, they just love it so much and it's so annoying to me. And I get that, right? And that's human biology and there's all kinds of things involved in that. And and what, I, what I'd say is, is find what works for you, right? Because there's a whole bunch of different kind of techniques and, and different strategies that you can do out there that kind of creates that space or kind of creates that push or that distance that opens up a space for that person to come to you and appreciate you. And what you need to do is find a place or a space where that makes sense for you, a strategy that makes sense for you. And maybe that's, you know, creating a life where you're doing other things. And so you don't have time to be smothering or on top of somebody all the time. And so it creates space naturally, or maybe it's something where you, you know, depending on like what your attachment style is, it could be something else. It depends on what works for you. And so my suggestion is to find what works for you.